Titanic Tourist Submersible Live Updates, Ocean Gate CEO piloting the vessel, which has less than 40 hours of oxygen left. The CEO of Ocean Gate Expeditions, Stockton Rush, was on board and piloting the missing submersible that vanished during a mission to explore the wreckage of the Titanic, the company said Tuesday. There is less than 40 hours of oxygen supply left on the missing vessel, named Titan, which is carrying five people, a U.S. Coast Guard official said Tuesday as the search continues. The submersible is part of an Ocean Gate Expeditions tour that offers passengers a once-in-a-lifetime experience to explore the Titanic wreckage. It went missing Sunday after it lost contact with the research vessel Polar Prince. British billionaire Hamish Harding, owner of Action Aviation, was also among the five people on the vessel, along with French dive expert Paul Henry Narjolet and prominent Pakistani businessman Shahzad Dawood and his son. Suleiman Dutt Titan submersible passenger Hamish Harding was excited for the voyage down to the ocean's depths to see the wreckage of the Titanic, friend and business partner Terry Verts said Tuesday. He was excited. The text I got was hey, we're headed down to Titanic today, exclamation point, Verts, a former NASA astronaut and Air Force F-16 pilot, told NBC News. Harding sent the text early Sunday. Harding, the owner of Action Aviation, is one of five people aboard the missing Titan submersible, which is the focus of a search in the North Atlantic. He was not worried about the risks but was aware of them, Verts said. Verts said he and Harding's family are hopeful. The really good news that we have is that we haven't heard bad news they haven't found a wreckage, they haven't found debris floating, the sonar didn't pick up any kind of crushing or exploding noise, he said. So there's definitely hope that the crew is alive in the submersible. A Canadian plane with sonar flew above the area around the missing Titan submersible, and Canada is sending rescue ships in a vessel equipped with a mobile hyperbaric recompression chamber, officials said. The Royal Canadian Air Force CP-140 Aurora has been providing sonar searches, the U.S. Coast Guard said. The Royal Canadian Navy ship HMCS Glossé Bay has also been dispatched, Canada's military said. HMCS Glossé Bay provides a medical team specializing in dive medicine in a six-person mobile hyperbaric recompression chamber, it said in a statement. A hyperbaric recompression chamber is used to treat or prevent decompression sickness. When divers are exposed to rapid decreases in pressure, nitrogen forms bubbles in tissue and blood. Two other Canadian Coast Guard ships were either there or on the way. Visibility conditions have significantly improved today for aircraft scouring the surface of the Atlantic Ocean for signs of the missing Ocean Gate submersible, the Coast Guard said. Visibility was very foggy yesterday with very little to no visibility, but was increasing today and they were expecting much better conditions from an aerial search perspective, Chief Petty Officer Robert Simpson, with the 1st Coast Guard District Public Affairs Office, said Tuesday. He said the weather at the scene today included five to six foot waves and 15 knot winds. In addition to assets from the Coast Guard, Navy, and Canadian partners already deployed, civilian research vessels are also volunteering to aid in the search.